Before cell phones, there were car phones. Good morning, Mr. Cardinal. How did the market open? In fact, the original car phone weighed about 80 pounds. In 1947, an engineer at Bell Labs envisioned a futuristic phone network for their car phones. A call would bounce uninterrupted between cells of coverage. At the time, the technology and the infrastructure for this did not exist, but it soon would. The car phones quickly became popular despite their limitations. Only a limited number of people could use the service at a time, which meant five to 10 year waiting lists began to form. And existing customers could sometimes wait up to 30 minutes to place a call. But then in 1973, Motorola engineer Martin Cooper showed what the future would look like, the Dynatac 8000X. Based on Bell's cell network concept, it was the world's first handheld cell phone. 10 years and a $100 million investment later, Motorola finally released the phone to the public. I'd like to order a large pizza with mushrooms, anchovies, and the hottest peppers you can find. The decade-long delay was caused by the need to build the cellular infrastructure the phone required to operate. The phone took 10 hours to charge, lasted 35 minutes, and cost $3,995, which would be about $10,000 today. Industry watchers say there are only a few thousand cellular phones in use right now, but that number is expected to grow considerably within the next few years. During the cellular revolution. of its time, the IBM Simon could be considered the world's first smartphone, the world's first touchscreen phone, and the first phone to have software apps. It cost around $1,099 new, which would be around $1,800 today. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. But what we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. A giant screen. Just one month after one of the most popular BlackBerry devices was released, the original iPhone hit shelves nationwide. It would go on to sell more than 6 million units, with new models introduced every year. The iPhone would forever change mobile phones the computer industry, and technology forever. Today's cell phones are a far cry from the $10,000 Dynatac phone of 1983. And for many people, the phone feature has become one of the least used features. But in the future, phones could make another drastic change. The World Economic Forum thinks the first implantable phones will become commercially available by 2024.